No tenemos vino. What do you say? He says he's got no wine. Gracias, Mr. Bromley. Uh, my daughter deals with the company accounts. Nice. Nice going, Mrs. Benz. Ah. Our guest of honor, Mr. Keegan, welcome. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Pleasure. Um, right, now then. Um, well, uh, what's the form here? Do you... Do we have a tape or something, you know, for you to cut? Well, I prefer it a little less formal, you know. Um, probably a few pictures, a few autographs, yes. and, and basically mingle with the um, with the crowd. Fine. Fine. Stop it, eh? You are. What am I doing here with you? <laughs> oh, I told you not to have that last pint. Now let's give him Keegan. Wait, Adrian. Keegan. Keegan. I knew it was you. I told you it was him. I told you it was you. I knew it was him. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Here? I didn't know you drank, Kev. What's he saying to me? Give me Keegan. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what about this one, sir? A crippling, great, the swingers. <laughs> oh, this is great, this. Make it a large one. Sure, Frank. Gracias. Oh, things are looking up. Looks like we've got a coach party. Welcome to the Nick. Evening. You come in. Good evening. Who the hell are this lot? My bear sewing circle. You know, stitch that. Can I have an autograph? Yeah, certainly. Absolutely no problem. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Nice. I'm more of a cricket man myself, though. Or baseball. Anything with a bat. Never did like footy. Too many puffy hairdos. You can't so you can like that. I'll drop it. Hey, Scouse, how do you fancy a drink, mate? What, me? Yeah, come on, there's a nice beach about there, always some nice people. Oh, you sound not like you. So? What's all this then? What exactly are you after? How about a refill? Oh dear. I seem to have dropped my glass.
Now you tell whatever slime you're working for that we're not moving if that's what they want. We're not closing tonight or tomorrow night or any night. You and your brains trust want to come back for a rerun. Now piss off! What the hell was that all about? Hey? Have you upset somebody, Mr. Bromley? Me? Have I just got here? That was very stupid, you know. What you did. Oh, yeah. I am pretty stupid. Well, I'm sure it's all just a mistake. It'll sort itself out. Really? Right. Let's get this opening night open. Glasses. <laughs> it's still open. I'm disappointed. It's a sad day when an old friend can't call in a favour from another old friend. We are an old friends, aren't we? Uh, just the thought. Not your fault, eh, is it? If I wasn't thinking, I'd hire Bamba Gascoigne! You still got the keys? Uh, yes. Yeah. Fine. Good. Then you can get in there tonight and torch it, can't you? Torture? You owe me, Frank. You owe me from way back. Bastard owes me and all. Um. This is Henley Dodd. Hold the front page. Of course I'm bloody serious.
No, you're not selling the boat. I don't understand you. First you didn't want me to buy the damn thing, now you don't want me to sell it. It's the only bloody thing you've got left. Blake, we haven't got a penny. Everything went into the bar. At least if we sold the boat. No. No way, Douglas. The boat stays. Well, there's no arguing with dispassionate logic. I'll give you that. Hello? I just heard. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Can I have a word? Look. There's nothing left. Why don't you just leave us alone? Come on, don't take it out on her. Why don't you two go go for a drive or something? I'd appreciate some time just to think things through, OK? Sure. What are you going to do? Douglas wants to sell the boat. It'll kill him. Isn't he insured? On Tuesday he's insured. Better wait until Tuesday, we'd have been okay. Any idea of who they are? What about the police? No, I don't think it's them. I might be able to help, you know? How about the money? I'd have to speak to my father, but there is something. Consuelo? Es mi Consuelo? We have been approached by an English insurance company. They are offering a reward for the arrest of a man called Webb, Dominic Anthony Webb. He worked for this company all his life, never put a foot wrong, until he hit 50 when he walked out with 750,000 pounds of their money. Three quarters of a million quid. That's a hell of a midlife crisis. Es mi consuelo. He flew straight to Spain. Hardly ever goes out since we signed the extradition treaty. Very security conscious. Webb's worth 10,000 pounds if we could get him to the British authorities in Gibraltar. So why haven't you? Because kidnapping in Spain is a crime. I could lose my license. Adios licencia. But it won't be you delivering him. That's Blake's part. He's an ex-cop. He's got a boat. He's ideal. Yeah. I'm ideal. If I'd have wanted to damage suspect citizens, though, I could have stayed in England. Yeah, I know. That's not what you want. But the money is good. Just until you get back on your feet, okay? Yeah, right. Okay? See. Si. Good. So, what's the deal? We split half and half. Half for you, half for my father, and half for me. That's my idea. We pull this off, and I get half of my father's business, and my name on the door. Hey, 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 eso de tu nombre la puerta nada, eh? What do you say? that we will have to talk about the name on the door. There's 5,000 quid in it if we can get this bloke Webb to Gibraltar. So what do you think? I don't see why we can't just break in and bop him one. Got him in dragging down the street screaming. That's what I like about you, Douglas, your subtle mind. Nah. <laughs> what we need is a bit of business. A hook. Old duggery. I like it. Yes? Uh, Mr. Webb, my name is Fanthorpe. Uh, James Henley Dodd rang you about me. It's about your security.
Thank you. Ah. Yes. Well, I see why James thought you might be interested in our services. Yes, this is a Cisco 1900, unless I'm very much mistaken. Very good, of course, each day. It's only been out a couple of months. If you like to tell me about your equipment or uh, leave me a brochure, I really do have a lot to do. Not equipment, Mr. Webb. Expertise. My partner, Mr. Smith is considered by police forces throughout Europe to be the best there is. Really, Mr. Fairthorpe, if you've nothing more original than that to pitch to me, I think you're wasting my time and yours. I really am very busy. He really is the best, you know. Drawing. Webb's house. Alarm systems, drainage, floor plans. He's a frustrated artist. I've been thinking. What is it? Why would anybody have it in for me around here? Well, they wouldn't. Well, then if it's not me they're after, it must be you. Who knows we're here? Well, apart from the entire readership of the Marbella Soul, you mean? No, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. The Soul comes out on the Thursday. So? Did the painters down tools on the Wednesday? Now. Who knew we were here before the song came out on the Thursday? Mercedes and Delgado? Frank. Yeah. Frank knew. Sports day, is it? Gracias, Roberto. No, 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 si me has hecho un gran favor. Te lo devolveré. Ala, ala. He's clean. Not so much as a parking ticket. Not since he lived in Spain, anyway. What about in England? Same story. They run a computer check with the British police as well. Well, that's Frank. Henley Dodd? Nothing there either. Is this floor level? Try this. I've never really trusted computers. What time is it in England? Ten o'clock. Right. I still know some people in the people business. Dougie. How are they treating you in here? Fine. Just fine. Some of the nurses have got very 
cold hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. About the... It's all right, Frank. I know. I knew it. I'll kill him. Somebody practically done that for you. Oh, come on, Blake. Frank's a pawn. He didn't have any choice. What, and you believe him? I don't have to. My network back home came up with this suppressed clipping. Fell off the computers years ago. Two young lads did a job at Timothy White. Frank was one. It's his first offence, so they just slapped his wrist and sent him packing. His partner, though, had a record long as your arm. He did time for both of them. Never forgot it or forgave it. Reckon Frank owed him one or three. Paid up yesterday, though. So whose wrist do I slap? Mercer. Get out! Out! The car! Mr. Smith broke in and took this last night. It's a novel way of making your point, I'll grant you. Very, very clever. Well, now, perhaps you'd like me to arrange a meeting. Where are you from? Beg your pardon? Which force? Ah. Uh. What I really hated was the tube. All that crush. Mind the gap, mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. God, that same voice every day. And off the Baker Loo and up the escalator. Jewelry on the right, socks on the left. <laughs> then the Baker, French bread. Egg mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. And one morning it just clicked. I walked into the office. I went over to my desk. And I worked at it for a week. See, I transferred the same amount every day to an account over here. That was it. £750,000 credited to Dominic Webb, Hispania. Nobody suspected? Well, I've worked there for 30 years, you see. I had a house, a mortgage, and £30 in the Christmas club. Well, I just walked out. Took a taxi to Heathrow. A taxi. <laughs> yeah. Wish I'd been there, though. You mean the office? Yeah, when they found out. I'd love to have seen that. Their faces, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm a three-quarter millionaire. I rented this place. And the only money I've spent has been on this on security. I wouldn't have used it, you know. I know. Oh. I got the safety catch on. Web. Let's take a walk. Thanks, Fanthorpe. It's all right, Blake. Dominic knows. Dominic? I'm coming with you. Douglas was right. It's no life for me here. Oh, don't worry. You'll still get your money.
die straight. There's a good boy. You know, in some circles, this will be regarded as an offensive weapon. In the right hands, of course. I'd call it a draw, Gus. Wouldn't you? One day. Your share, a million pesetas. Ooh. Well, this should keep us in vessels for quite a while. Oh, Harbour Master Ahoy. I've just, I've just come to tell you that you are three weeks behind in your harbour fees. The damage to that jetty and the commander's boat still hasn't been paid for, and that pile, that pile of rubble that, that you call a bar, has to be moved. It has to be moved. It cannot stay on the beach like that. How much? One million two hundred thousand pesetas, at least. Six thousand pounds, near enough. Great. Call it alone. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And I remind you that uh, harbour fees are payable in advance in future. Thanks very much for the loan. I, I don't know when we'll be able to pay it back. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll be able to do us a little favour sometime. That's great. That's just what I came here to avoid. Come on, Blake. Now, don't look at me like that. I know what you want. You want to become some sort of Spanish Sam Spade, don't you? Well, don't kid yourself. It's not that easy, I know. I've done it, I've seen it. I'd like something different now. Well, of course you would. That's why we came here. For the change. Don't worry, we'll muddle through. We'll, we'll think of something. The boat. You can always rent it out. The trips? Round the lighthouse. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Spain, partners. Sunny, sunny, sunny Spain! Spain.
Radio Gibraltar. I'm Sid Oliveira. Welcome along to breakfast. What do you think you're doing? I'm a bluting. Oh, are you now? Well, hear this, will you? Rule 35. The washing of clothes and hanging them out on deck is strictly forbidden within the confines of the yacht club. All laundry and drying facilities must be confined to the lower deck area. A fine of not more than 10,000 pesetas may be imposed on any offender. Subsequent offences will result in the offending vessel losing its berth within the confines of the club area under Rule 5, Subsection 3. Is that clear? Clear, Ish. Just remove the offending items immediately, Mr. Bromley, otherwise I shall impose the maximum penalty. And what do you suggest I do with them, Mr. Metcalf? It is not my problem. God. Looks like below decks could do with a bit of a shake-up, too. Looks damned unhealthy to me. There was a time when we had wooden ships and iron men. Now, all we get is plastic ships and hollow men. It's not exactly the cutty saw, Mr. Metcalf. That is no excuse for disorder. Get yourself a woman, Mr. Bromley. That is my advice. Chance would be a fine thing. A cleaning woman. She'll turn this rubbish barge around in no time at all. And what do I do? Requisition one from the Yacht Club stores? Senora Sanchez. She'll do for you. I'll send her along. Just a minute. What you want then? Got a bit of business in Lombard Street. Popping over for the weekend. That's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Oh, it is, it ain't. Mr. and Mrs. Murdoch from Wagga Wagga, Australia. Here, watch it, the ink's still wet. Well, that must have cost you. Can say that again. Flying to Dublin, then London back here Sunday night. Come out and see if Graham here look after my gaff while we're gone. No chance. Can't be done, Dinny. A bit of drink in it for you. I want more than a bloody drink out of it. But look, what are we talking here, Gus? Hey, a couple of score? A day? 200? Leave it out. Have a good time. See look, you around. How about one half? Like I said, enjoy yourself. Some drink, eh, Gus? Yeah, some drink, Dinny. about earlier on. I oh, was just boring old domestic stuff. You wouldn't be interested. You're right there. Oh, by the way, Vicky, meet my mate Douglas. Douglas, this is Vicky. Okay. Right. We're off for some breakfast. G. 
Jesus Christ. There you go, piece of piss. They've sussed out the new bosses already. But I think I've changed my mind, Dinny. Wild dogs won't part of the deal. Nah, they'll be as right as rays as they got your scent. I never did get on with animals. What's their names? Faith, hope, and charity. Have faith they won't turn on you. If they do hope you can get away. And if you can't, just pray they'll be charitable. Oh, my God. Graham, a final word. And nobody comes in, right? Right. I mean nobody. Old Bill, King of Spain, Postman's Pat, the Santa Claus. They're not on the list, because there ain't no list. What about Gus? Especially Gus. Oh, I like it. Get a bugger off my back for the weekend. But peace at last. Anybody tries it. You let the dogs go. I let the dogs go. You're in charge, Graham. There you go. Couldn't be much clearer than that, could it? Hey? Come on. Should keep you going for a bit, eh, Graham? Look at that. All margaritas, then. I never touch anything else. Oi. You won't forget the drink, will you? You help yourself. No. O Oiga, señor! Señor! Usted es el capitán! Capitán, no? Uh, si, sí, el capitán. Uh, oh, usted, uh, señor Sánchez. Si? Ven a board, señor. Yes, si, sí, señor. Yo soy la mujer de la limpieza. El señor Mecap me ha mandado a trabajar aquí. Yo puedo hacer una hora de día y, y también lavar la ropa, si usted quiere. Y limpiar. Oh, Dios mío. Valiente porquería. Anda que no tiene mierda. Uh, I haven't quite cracked that one yet, señora Sánchez. Do you not speak any English at all? Uh, English? Ay, small. A little small. A very little small. Well, that's a plus for a start. I clean cheap. You pay. Good. How much? Mucho. No. One thousand, one hour. Sounds a bit stiff to me. Okay. He? Good. No? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> you have tools? Tools? Una escoba? Una esponja? Trapos? Trapos? Lejía? Jabón? Lo que sea. No. Nada, nada. Well, um, I'm, I'm afraid I don't know what any of that stuff is, Senora Sanchez, but I'm pretty certain we haven't got any of it. Um, look, why don't you go, yes, and stock up? Just buy, you, you buy what you need. Understand? In the tienda? In the shop? Si, señor capitán. Excellent. See you tomorrow, then. Tomorrow. Yes. Bye-bye. Morro! Yes. Senor. You never cease to amaze me, Douglas. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, I suppose you've still got a few miles left on the clock. I think you're misreading the situation, Blake. That is Senora Sanchez, our new cleaning lady, if you don't mind. What the hell needs cleaning? Metcalf was here this morning reading the riot act over the state of this ship. Either we clean or eel intervene. Looks fine to me. Just a bit lived in, that's all. <laughs> it lived in? Some people would say you're not fit to live with pigs, Blake. I'd say that you were. Oh, now, come on, Douglas. I do the washing up. Really? Yeah, well, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll go halves with you on the cleaning woman. Halves? What are you going to pay in? Washers? Good and tired, Miss Smith. Henley Dodd from the Soul. Uh, could you give me five minutes for a few words? We spoke on the phone, I think. Just, just one picture, please. Would you mind showing me the British Airways what she knows? You know, I've got. Catch on the way down, Miss Schmidt. Just you remember that. Last call for British Airways for 
Buenos dias, Packer. Buenos dias, James. We want a cheap flight to Dublin. Sweet of you to offer, but I'm not in the market today. What are you in the market for? A couple, the last to check in. What about them? I'm feeling I've seen them somewhere before. You can have a few small details. Name, rank, number, that kind of thing, would you? I might. <sighs> You'll ruin me, Paco. You know that. Life is a bitch, isn't it? You got it? Yeah, I got it. Wasn't worth five Ks, though. How about a refund? Get out of here. Jimmy, what's the story and how much am I into you for? The story concerns your old man and his bimbo. And you're into me for a hundred quid. For your sake, this had better be bloody good. Well, Madge, Dinny's coming to London for the weekend. They left half an hour ago. Back on Sunday on the eight o'clock flight from Dublin. Are you sure about this? Madge, dear heart. I make up something like that. You're a sum reporter, ain't you? Madge, please. My bare soul, if you don't mind. Now, as far as I recall, you and Denny had a small contretemps over who owned the villa down here. From what I remember, I had the distinct impression it was in your name. Wasn't it? So what you're saying is, the place is empty, right? That's right. While the cat's away. Meet me off the 10 o'clock plane tomorrow, Jimmy. <laughs> Mortgage rate's gone up again. And West Ham went down 2-1. How about that? You know, I don't go a bundle on this egg fried in olive oil. I mean, try that. It tastes like a salad dressing. That's why it costs five quid. Five quid for this? It's a rip-off. Why don't you try a real Spanish breakfast once in a while? So I don't fancy sponge cake at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, if Delgado doesn't come me some cash pretty soon, I won't be able to afford cake. What? Just have to sell my body, won't I? Ah, you'll be pushed to give it away. I haven't had any complaints so far. <laughs> you ought to try it, Douglas. On the boat. It's just like doing it on a waterbed. Oh, God. What's this? Should have done this 20 years ago. This is paradise. Sun, sand, sex and sin. It's strictly for non-cardiac cases. Get some in before it's too late. Who's this to? I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. The cheap, he clean. You like? Oh, very nice, senora. Very nice indeed. I'd like to meet my coxswain. Bloody cheap. Mr. Al Blake. Hello, senor. Hello. Un momentito. Capitan, el cambio. Oh. Y, y el recibo. Thank you. Gracias. Bye bye. Bye. That's your suitcase, Douglas. She's probably got the satellite navigation gear in there. Lake. It's a Spain, not Camden Town. Franco's dead. The good old days have gone forever. Excuse me. 
Can I have a look inside the case, please? Excuse me, I'm in. Yeah, Ropa sucia. Smell bed. Pero hay wash. Yeah, I was just, uh, just checking. Sí, sí. You know what I mean? Hmm. Thanks very much. Come on Monday. You come on Monday, senora. Okay. Never heard of love thy neighbor, Blake? Sure. Just remember to lock thy car. Hello. 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 I've got something for you. What? <coughs> this is Luis Jamia. This is Luis. We have a present for you. Present? Sure. That repossession job we did. Well, the insurance company has finally paid up. It has. How much did we get? Well, you get the car. What car? The Jeep. <laughs> so used. I thought we were in this for cash. Only assets left. So do you might need the car. I mean, you skimmed up the rest. Look, in future, do you think we could have real money? Where are the papers for it? If you come around to the office, I'll arrange everything for you. Actually, Mercedes and me, we also came to invite you to the bullfights. You and Douglas, tomorrow. Oh, please come. You must experience some of our culture and see what you make of it. What do you think, Douglas? Well, why not? We said we'd try everything. At least once. Be of some assistance, Senora. Oh, I don't think so, Monsieur. I'm afraid it's too late. What's too late? I was looking for the Vagabonda, the yacht of Pierre de Bernier. He was here in this same place. He has obviously returned to Monte Carlo. Do you think uh, I could trouble you for a small quantity of water, Monsieur? Of course, Madame. Of course. Please, please come aboard. Oh, uh, please, sit down, madame. Thank you, monsieur. You are very kind. By the way, my name is Douglas um, Bromley. Oh, I am Lilian Girard. Pleased to make your acquaintance. It's such a pity about Pierre. He was to eat with us tomorrow and then to make up the food at Bridge. Rich players are so hard to find here in Spain. I, I don't suppose you play by any chance, do you? Uh, yes, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Oh, you can take his place. Oh, but perhaps you have other arrangements. I'm sorry. I do not wish to presume. Not at all, madame. I'd, I'd be absolutely delighted. We are all meeting first for supper at the Papagayo of the Playa Mayor. Do you know it, Monsieur Bromley? Um, I'll find it. Oh, you will love it. Uh, Pedro does his wonderful gambas. He can do miracles with the humble shrimp. Penny. You will enjoy that, Monsieur Douglas. Oh, shall we meet you there? At 4.30? 30 it is, madame. At my soir, monsieur Bromley. Bonsoir, madame.
kill. Good lads. What the hell's going on? You might have a bit of a problem here, Madge. What do you mean? Well, the place is sort of being occupied. Occupied? You told me it was empty, you pinhead. No, I assumed it was. But it appears that Dinny's put a guard in there with three wild dogs. I almost lost my hand. Ryan! Who's that? It's me, Madge. Open up, Graham. This is my place and I want in. You hear me? And call them our in mucks off right now. No can do, Madge. Then he says nobody comes in unless it's him personally. Listen to me, that scab. This is my drum. I've got the deeds and I've come to take what's mine. You got that? I can't, Madge. Then he'd kill me if I did. You know what he's like. He's given me my orders and I can't let you in. It's more my life's worth. Well, let me tell you something, Graham. My arm's long and my vengeance is total. I'm going to count to three. You can count to 3,000, Madge, but you ain't coming in and that's final. In that case, Graham, I'm going to pay a little call on Gus Mercer. Then I'm coming back here with it in writing. Won't do you no good, Madge. I can't read. Great face, you lying pisshead! You're hurting me, Madge. I want my property back by tomorrow at the latest. Or do you know what I'm going to do? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. I'm going to phone the old bill in London and get Dinny nicked. Then I'm going to put it about that you grasped him up. That's not cricket, match. Oh, yes, it is. And what's more, it's played with a hard ball. <coughs> no hard feelings, eh, Jimmy? Look. We could have done with more women like you in our job. That's so? Yeah. You'd have been made sergeant by now. What's your date of birth? 6953. Yeah, you're just what the Met's been waiting for. If it's so good, how come you left? Well, I reckon there was more to life than having my face kicked in every six weeks. That's because I was working at the sharp end, of course. How sharp? The very pinnacle of crime. Mercedes, I could tell you some stories. How long have you held your driver license? Fifteen years. Any serious offences? I was a policeman, remember? You didn't answer my question. Oh, a few parking tickets, one endorsement for speeding. You're a very attractive woman, do you know that? Yes. You've really got away with words, haven't you? Yeah, forget I said that. Look, all I'm trying to do is ask you a grown-up question. Thank you. Would you have supper again with me sometime? What kind of supper? This time, the real thing. Candlelight, soft music. I might. You might? When? When you can ask me in Spanish. Ask you in Spanish? That's a tall order, Mercedes. Speech is just one symbol of affection. Remember that. Yes, I saw him. But I tell you, Madame Lily, Captain Douglas, he's very rich. And no wife. <laughs> oh, big shape. Oh. <laughs> Need a woman like you. I see good wedding for you. You very rich. Maybe, maybe not. I find him. I tell you name of chief. You give me big propina? I will give you a big tip. If I marry him, not before. But I shall deduct 2% for the use of my washing machine for his clothes. Has it paid you, Senora Sanchez? Oh, yes, he paid me plenty of cash money. Perhaps you can lend me 1,000 pesetas. Mm -hmm. Curious enough. Curious enough, come me. Curious in our conmigo estimate. Curious in our con Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Curious. Leave it out. Oh, come on, Gus. 
Madge, I'm not having it. Look, Gus, you and me go back years. Two, to be precise. The place is in my name. I've got the deeds. It's mine. I want it. It was Dinny who paid for it. Look, Graham's your man. All I'm asking you to do is go down there and tell him to get his ass out of there. Just piss off, will you? You bastard. Next time I'll the bloody alligator rip your bleeding head off. Quieres cenar conmigo esta noche? 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 Quieres cenar conmigo? Quieres Blake? Would you mind just giving the needle a nudge, please? Speech is just one symbol of affection, Douglas. Don't forget that. Morning, Mr. Metcalf. Well, pass inspection, do we? Only thanks to Senora Sanchez, if you ask me. Let this be a warning to you. Next time, there'll be no second chance. Yes, Mr. Metcalf. Oh, permission to ask a question, Mr. Metcalf. Yeah. Quiere cenar conmigo esta noche, señorita? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Damned if I know. I thought you lived here 15 years. I have. But if the Queen's English is good enough for me, it's good enough for the Dagos. I can count from one to ten and read the road signs. Anything else? No. Carry on. See what you mean about speech being a symbol of affection. <laughs> Who's that? It's me. It's open. Well? I've had this wonderfully brilliant idea. I know this private detective called Delgado, who's had incredible success. Look, I've got 24 hours left. Spanish gum shoes I do not need. But this guy... You cost me, Jimmy. I should have known that Dinny wouldn't have rolled over that easily. All I've got to do is certify vacant possession, get the Spanish estate agent to verify it, he takes it off my hands, and I'm a hundred grand better off. Problem is, the problem. The string hasn't run out completely yet, Madge. No, it's just tightening around your neck. Don't you know any muscle round here? You're probably going to laugh when I tell you. But violence counts for very little down here. Oh, yeah? Well, I wouldn't give much for your chances if you went up against Graham and them dogs with a carnation stuck up your ass. Think about it, Jimmy. There's still time for me to phone London. Well, I think he's worth a shot. He's got a four-star rating. This man once got a guy to pay for a boat which he already owned. Shall I try him? It's on your head, Jimmy. Buenas tardes. Uh, aquí es Henley Dodd. Sí, sí, Jaime. Uh, está aquí, señor Delgado. ¿Está dónde? La corrida. Ah, muy bien. Gracias. Adiós. He's gone to the bullfight in Marbella. Actually, I should have guessed. He's got a season ticket. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh. Stacks of time. Besides, right now, there's nothing I'd like more than to put my arms around you and tell you I'm fighting every sexual impulse in my body. Ow! Come on, Douglas, we haven't got all day. No, you don't need a tie to go to a bullfight, you know. I know that. I've got plans for this evening. Plans? What sort of plans? Oh, social event. You wouldn't be interested. Yes, I would. What sort of social event? Now, Douglas, if it's a woman, all you've got to do is give me a quid and I'll go to the pictures tonight. <laughs> hey, Douglas? Hola. Hi. Oh, I've got 
some car keys. Car keys? Yes, I thought I'd drive myself, if you don't mind. I thought you didn't like driving. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? If anyone can get that moron out, you can. So what's the big deal if the guy is there on his own? All you got to do is get a couple of waiters from the hotel. Well, there are three dogs. Dogs? You didn't say anything about dogs. What kind of dogs? Dobermans, that's all. That's all? You call three Dobermans all? Look, lady. If you want your place back, go to the Guardia Civil and ask them nicely to send you a couple of men with machine guns. They do it for nothing. They need the practice. But Delgado, this is an emergency. The Bank of Spain had not printed enough money for me to go up against three governments. Mm -hmm. How about the Bank of England? What are they, uh, 50s? Yeah. Delgado. I don't know, lady. Dogs can be pretty tough, you know. Come on, Jimmy. I think we're wasting our time here. Sounds like goldfish are more in his league. Hey, hey, hey tell you what. I look over the job on my way home. No promises, huh? Same again if I get him out of there? Only if you get him out of there by tonight. I need to pay my people. You could hire the whole of the Chinese army with what you've got there. See you later. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, oh. Oh, that's enough. Just forget it. Oh, yeah. he, 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 he turned that ball around his body like it was a snake. Oh, shut up, Douglas. What's the matter with you? You've just become a vegetarian. Oh, come on. I introduce you to something smaller. Hey, I've got a job for you. No, no, you'll have to count me out, I'm afraid. I'm off for a nice, juicy steak au poivre. Why are we here? We have to tell somebody to pack his bags. Get the hell out of here. Just like that. Hey, oiga, senor. What do you want? I've got a paper here, signed by the judge in Malaga, <laughs> telling you to leave this property at once. Oh, yeah. We know what you can do with it, don't you? If you don't go, the Guardia Civil will come and shoot you dead. Get out of here, you wop. I ain't moving. Come on, Graham. You heard what the man said. Play the game. Well, 
Well, well. I should have known the old bill would be in this somewhere. Well, why don't you just try it then, Blakey? You've got five minutes to get out of there. <laughs> what do you think then? <laughs> Gonna give it a go? Yes? <laughs> I wouldn't do that for 2,000. Who does she think I am? A kamikaze or something? You're getting a grand, damn it. They're only dogs, Delgado. Only dogs. We've got to go into the ring with a 500 kilo bull, then put one foot into that place. <laughs> oh, look. Where's your sense of adventure? Think of all that money. What are you, a wimp or something? Hey, you don't call my father a wimp. You got that. <coughs> Sorry. If you're so damn clever, why don't you get that bloke out of there? I might do that. But I'm not doing it free and gratis. A hundred pounds? Per dog. But I'm a hombre, que dices? It may cost me that in hospital bills. Okay. I give you three hundred. So what's the plan? work if no one loses their nerve. Nerve? It's not my nerve I'm afraid to lose. Right. We all know what to do. Hey! 